Hey everyone, so I found this antique store um, really close to where I am staying at in Pennsylvania and they have tinsel town and I need to go there and hopefully they still have it. Um, I didn't want to put my phone, there's like no place for it. It's only 17 minutes away and um, let's hope I can still find tinsel town. You know, something I love about Pennsylvania is that there are horses literally everywhere and it's beautiful. Hello. Do you guys have any like briar horses? We have any briar horses? Yes, and you go straight down the main aisle, first left through the lunch rooms. Right in the lunch room is a big Okay. Baseball. Thank you. Yes. Nice. Dave, Dave, Dave. Oh, God sent his husband, David. I am David. Okay. Okay. This one? Yes. Oh, I see them. Oh, they have tinsel town. Hello. All right guys, so I ended up getting secretariat and then, uh, what am I saying? But I got tinsel down. So like this is a street, it's called um, Redding and apparently it's full of antique stores. This is where I went to Mad Hatter, um, Mad Hatter. And that was the store, the antique store. And now we're going that way and apparently there are many other antique stores. All right, here we are. Hello. Hello. So these were the only four, I mean, what? I can count. These were the rats that I found there, the only ones. Hello. Take a slight right turn. Hello.
to, I think, the last one. Um, they're not as many anymore. I've kind of like exhausted all these places, all these antique stores. Here we go, another one. That is so creepy. I've actually wanted this briar for a pretty long time. I can't see the price of it though. So I found three briar horses here, but they're really expensive. And um, the lady here told me that I should go to Green Dragon, which is like this huge retail place where people just sell their antique stuff. So these were the only briars I had there, and I drove pretty far to Green Dragon just to find these little rats, and there was this live auction happening, never seen a live auction before, and it was pretty interesting. I'm also gonna see this at Briar Fest and see all those horses go for thousands of dollars. Pretty pumped about it. That was something, um, I'm really sweaty. So there was only this one vendor selling Briar horses, they were $10 each. Today's been a crazy day, this was so unexpected. Um, I just saw an ad on Facebook that someone was like selling Tinseltown at this one place in Lancaster, very close to where I'm staying. I just had to go get it and then it all, I just went in this rabbit hole of just like going through antique shops and it was fun, but I'm really tired and uh, my phone is dying, I need to get back to my place and use the GPS, so I'll see you guys on the other side. Alright guys, so it's been a few days and I have not, you know, recorded an outro for the video. I haven't showed you guys what I got, so, you know, in the video, I looked really rough because um, the whole jet lag situation really messed me up. Um, there's a seven hours difference, and it's so funny because when I came into the States, I kind of traveled back in time because in Romania, I would have been seven hours ahead. But anyway, I'll show you guys what I got on that day. I don't know what day it was, honestly. It's been like a few days. It's been a few days. I've been trying to figure out how to edit this video. And um, I tried editing it on a MacBook in iMovie and just failed completely. So I just ended up um, editing the video on my phone, which is like, dude, this is an, <laughs> an all time low for me. Anyway, let me show you guys um, the horses that I got at the antique stores. So the first one is Tinseltown. You know, this is why I even went to the antique store in the first place. I'm really happy I got this horse. And then I got this horse, which I thought was a resin. It's actually not, it's a store special from Briarfest 2018. Um, I don't collect stable maids or scales that are this small, however, for some reason, I really like this one. <clears throat> my voice keeps on cracking, man. I'm not okay. I'm just not adjusted to the time schedule here. Like, my body's failing me in all the possible senses. So, yeah, this is what I got. Um, it's a really nice, really nice horse. I want to put this on my shelves as a decoration in my room. And something else that I bought on my friend's address, uh, where I'm actually staying at right now in Pennsylvania, I got uh, Mamacita in the fall. This is, this is the fall, and it's Briar Fest 2016. And then the big, the big one, this is the mare. My first, uh, my first horse is on this mold. I actually really like it, so, yep, this is what I got. You know what, I think it's funny. I literally just got here at my friend's house in Pennsylvania, and I already decorated my room <laughs> as if it's my room, like there are horses everywhere. It's like, I got here, horses must be here. So I'm gonna show you guys a little close-up of Tinseltown and the flaws of it so there's the e-rub and then um, the flaws on the butt it's briarfest 2010 i never thought i would own this horse to be honest it's just at least when i just started recollecting horses again i never thought i would own this horse because to me like spending a hundred dollars on a horse was like insanity and now i can say that i'm insane and i have it and then there's this one I don't remember the name of it, however, it's a really nice decoration. Um, and then the foal from Mamacita set, the Mamacita and foal, I think they're called. I really like this, um, this sculpture, I never thought I would like it this much. And then there's this one. Now I'm gonna be looking for the Premier Club ones, at Briarfest at least. So yeah, this is, these are the horses that I have with me in the States so far. Briarfest is coming up and I'm really excited about that. All right, everyone, that was it for today's video. Um, I'm sorry for the chaotic editing. I think it was really rough, you know, I got to adapt. I don't have my video editor with me. I don't have my computer with me, so I have to adapt and record and edit on my phone, which, you know, is not the best option, but it's the only option that I have. So then I got to adapt. Um, yep. Looking forward to meeting you guys at Briarfest. It's only like, what, five weeks away? Unbelievable. My first Briarfest ever. I'm really nervous. 
really excited and I can't wait to see you guys there. Bye everyone.